Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today we're jumping into some ranked 3v3 with the one and only Rizzo himself. However, since it's just the two of us, we have no idea who our third teammate is going to be for each game, so we'll have to see how the two of us adapt around a new player for each match. You never really know what you're going to get, so let's just get right into it. Enjoy. And before we start the games, just a friendly reminder that 60% of you guys who watch my daily videos still aren't subscribed, so it'll help me out a ton if you subscribe if you haven't already. Now let's get into the first game. Alright, let's get right into it. So we got a random teammate. We got Frey on our team. So he's got the skyline. Maybe it's Sizz. I'll go low with the 50. It's been a while since we've done like a, a ranked threes where we talk about what we're doing. Usually it's some stupid game mode like uh, the other day when we were doing the, the gamble. I have no boost here. I had to jump over that boost. I'm going to pop this to the right over Jives. It's a good, good interruption by Rizzo. We go early on this. Beat this guy. Get the back corner now. Keep this close in the corner. He's going to get that boost, which is fine, but if he challenges this, it'll work for us. Work in our favor anyway. I'm going to bump this guy. Should be a shot. There we go. So right there, that guy... Uh, was trying to push in the corner and get the boost, so I could tell he wasn't going to be in the way of the ball. And right here, I can just pop the ball up, and then I bump the guy out of the way. And Jives was too low on the uh, front post. I'll take this one. So, Dro Bros is going to have that? Bros. <laughs> I got the right mid. Rizzo's up early, so he did miss. Could be Bros touch here again. So, both of them go, which is why I'm going to commit. At that point, there's not really many players that could follow. Because it didn't get his boost stolen. But he's still able to follow it. Both of us thought Frey was going to touch that. So I did a little bit of loop. So I thought he was going to keep boosting towards it. I'm going to bump the guy in mid. See if I can see what he's going to do here. This is going to stay with it. Wait for Jive's 50. Whoa. I don't really want to go on this yet. Because Bros is up already. Which is why I'm waiting. If I go on that, I'm just going to put myself at a position. So here I'm going to actually push up and get their corner. Uh, the reason why is Frey could come up to touch. And then I'll get the open goal. Uh, right there, I can see there's a chance for a breakaway. So I do push up there. And because I grabbed their corner boost, they'll be low on their defense after they're pushing back. So I'm able to sit on the left side and kind of capitalize on that situation. Something you'll see pro teams do a lot when they're comfortable. I mean, in a pro situation, it's not as often that you get comfortable situations like that where you can push up and take their boost. So it should be Frey's touch. He does get it. Gonna beat here, so I'm gonna wait for this guy to touch it. He doesn't touch it. I'm gonna boom it downfield because Bros is the last one. So if we force him up and come in and touch this, I did miss. Good fakes. I'm being dumpstered in the corner here. Good 50. Boost won't be here for a while, so I'm gonna grab some pads in mid. Frey wants to touch it. That's okay. So right here, that's probably gonna be Jive's ball. I'll push up though. Let's get it around me. Frey with the touch. It's off. Oh, it's in. So uh, that brush by Jai or Frey was a little bit rough. This backflip gave the ball right back. And then Rizzo tried to cover it. But at that point, Frey already threw the ball away. So Frey could have not touched that. And then also Rizzo could pr probably not uh, push up there. But he's trying to cover for that bad touch, which doesn't usually happen with his team, obviously. Or like a good player. I'm not saying Frey's not a good player. He's, he's GC. But just like a better player, I guess. It's a good pinch. Bit of a miss. So here I'm going to just posture behind, see if Frey wants to challenge for me. Okay, that was awkward. Luckily you had the touch. A little bit laggy. Get the corner boost before Jives takes it. Oh, that's a good aerial. That's fine. I'll sit behind. <laughs> looks, I keep thinking his name's Pseudo Koo for some reason. So I might get bumped here. So I need to be aware of that. Frey jumping up with this is okay. As long as Rizzo can follow up, which he does. Another touch, close. Nice touch. Oh, he's not ready for that. So right here, I'm just gonna get in the way. The 50 in the corner. Smart of Rizzo to wait. Frey's not quite ready though. Is he ready for that? He is. I'm just trying to avoid demos. It's kind of awkward. Nice. It's a good touch. Rizzo can probably follow. I'll go mid here. Pop it up. I don't think Rizzo has any boost yet, so he's going to get that corner. I think he just got it stolen, though. Oh, that's not good. Good. 
Punches off the wall. Keep my momentum going. This boost won't be here, so I'm just gonna loop around and get a few pads. And with Gross touching that to the side, Kunoku actually backed off a little bit. So keep this to the right. Frey wasn't quite ready, that's fine. I think Grizzle wants to stay with it, so I'm gonna bump the other guy. That's a good shot. You almost like got that over that guy. Bit of a miss. Surprised that guy went. Should be alright though. There we go. So with me and uh me and Rizzo here, we're just trying to read our third uh and ad adapt around him. He's a challenge, which he does. Good save by Rizzo. It would have been better if he obviously got the challenge. Or he needs to jump now. Oh that was close. It was pretty spooky that he waited so long, because the more he waits, the more obvious that uh that he's in a situation where he's last. So he needs to just push in that ball and uh, get a safe touch. Does pop out back mid. And then Frey, I thought was going to get a challenge, but he was zero boost. So, unfortunate situation. So we're tied up. But no big deal. That was such a weird kickoff. I think he missed. And it's an open net. Unfortunate. <laughs> I'm not sure what just happened. Let's see. Oof. Yeah, unlucky. So uh, Frey's not... Not looking too sharp here, but hopefully we can get another goal. It just seems slow on the reaction. Let's pop it up nice and high. Kinoku has to get a good touch here. I bump their other guy. It's a good attempt. It's not a good touch. It goes right back to them. So Frey doesn't need to touch this yet. Kind of gives it away. I'm not sure why I'm up for this. There we go. Nice play. Really good pass by Rizzo. So Frey's just a little bit slow. He keeps making challenges that I think he's going to make it to, and he doesn't actually quite quite get there. That's a really good touch by Rizzo. He saw that there was an opening, and they have to make that last final defensive touch. So he just goes for the beat on it. And we get an open goal. It's pretty close by the defender, too. So Pretty clutch play. I'm not sure why that guy's challenging in our corner or pushing towards the corner. It could lead to an open net. Oh! It's close. I don't want to push in this corner. All, all my teammates are here, so. There we go. I'm going to force into this corner. I get a boost. He's going to throw it away, which is fine. I get a bump on this guy. Actually, pretty good. And that means there's two committed. And the third just went. Oh, he's got it. Oh, that's close. So, right here, I'm going to do a double touch. Ends up, getting, ends up getting a boom back to our corner, but it's all right. That was low boost anyway. He does get a beat on me, so Frey's alone for a bit. Does get a good touch. He missed again. Just fast enough that it gets a goal. Just to try to focus to make sure it was on target. It was going to be hard for the defender to get past it. It's a pretty slow shot, but uh, the longer I delay, the the earlier or the harder it is for the guy to react and he can't challenge me because i'll just touch it if he jumps all right caruso on our team close to kunoko or, or whatever his name was on the first game uh, i can't remember how that was said um it's been like a five minute queue waiting here bit of a bit of aggressive hit okay that's pretty dangerous i'm gonna go all the way back so there i was trying to stay on the right wall just in case he uh <clears throat> he was ready for the pass it's a good shot Good touch too. Caruso should be ready for that. It's a decent touch. Gonna stay with it in the corner. Since there was space, it didn't end up being that bad of a touch. This guy's falling up quickly. Let's we'll roll back. Can't really get the boost right now, so I'm just gonna stay with this zero boost. <laughs> Easy fakes. Good to touch. Gotta wait for nudging. It's kind of. I'm not gonna jump for it. Kind of awkward. So I gotta just wait. Oh, the demo came through. That was pretty bad with me all, all around. No boost. I tried to get that back corner, but me flipping into the corner to try and follow the ball was where I was kind of left in a bad situation. Bump him if I can. Should be alright though. Close. Okay, he went way too far with that. Thought someone was going to push up, but ended up throwing the ball away instead. Good touches. Ouch. They get bumped. 
Oh my, I was close. Both of them? It's a good shot, and he does miss, so it's a good pass by our, our random teammate. Redeem myself for the really bad play at the beginning of the game, but it happens. This is rotating kind of weird. Partly trying to get used to our third and partly just bad touches. Good fake. Just gonna try and 50 this guy. Uh, so I waited a little bit longer to make the touch. Did get a good shot towards target. Put it in a, put him in an awkward situation. So Rizzo grabs that mid boost, which means I'll just rotate back and get the full. Because there's lots of time in the play. Might get a second touch. So that's a bit of a throwaway. Probably should have just grabbed that, that boost, honestly. Third is a little bit far behind, but he does get the 50-50. Wait for his pop here. Hit that off the curve, that way I can follow it. And then hopefully pop that down to my teammate. He uh, wasn't quite in the position I thought he was, but it still works. I won't expect an immediate challenge. Even if he pops it away, he got some space off the ball. Okay, that's fine. Oh, wow. Okay, not what I expected. It's a good pass again. Get off the corner, teammate. Oh, sorry. That should have been a goal. That was more for Rizzo, because uh, Rizzo probably could have scored that. Since he's getting the back corner, I uh, can get a few pads here. I like it. I like it. Oh, <laughs> perfect. Oh, the fakes. Here we go. That across. Both teammates on the op opposite team are in a bad situation. I'm going to keep bumping this guy in net. Good 50 by Rizzo. Tries to go for the follow up, but it ends up knocking his car a little bit too far. Make sure I beat that guy. Good play. Decent 50 50. This is actually going to completely dust that guy, but I can't really push yet. I thought my teammate was going to be there. Uh, There's too many players covering it, I guess, so he wasn't really following that position. So both my teammates in the corner. I'm going to try and pop that over, nudging here. And just shoot it to top right corner. And there we go. It's a pretty solid shot. Once again, redeeming myself. I'm playing great this game. I, I, I really like to, uh, you know, improve <laughs> how I've been... Uh, Moving around the fields. I feel like I'm moving really, really slow. It's a good touch. Yeah, I don't need to go for this yet because the the third is not going. I kind of popped that down mid, which is really stupid. It's a good follow. He's leaving the boost too, so I'll just take it. Make sure I get out of Rizzo's way. Stay with this if I can. Third's not there. I think Rizzo wanted that, so it's my bad again. Ah, it's time that. Almost got the shot. Caruso did go on that, so I'm going to head back if I can. Two players on the ball. Open chance. thought that was my teammate, so I wasn't too worried about going fast. The decent touch. He has to go right back, though. Good save. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Flip forward right when I was in the middle of hitting it forward. It's a good touch. At least focus on the ball, get the boost. I'm gonna just head back here. So now nudging is low. He tried to go for that corner, it's not there. Almost shot on target. To be a fast enough shot. And there we go. So that, that corner boost grab when I'm when I'm when he's sitting in there trying to focus on the ball, you can grab their corner and then nudging is low, and that's why he's stuck there. Not able to do much. So I didn't play that great that game, but we did get the win. And uh tried to be the best team I could, but <laughs> honestly I didn't do that 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 much on the field. I mean I scored all the goals, but I don't feel like I actually was that influential. The last game here, we got Woozy. Let's see if uh, he can fit nicely into our rotation here. It's a good touch. Good follow through as well. Dude will probably have this again. I'm gonna hit that forward. I'm going to call that guy Square, I guess. <laughs> the symbol. The doodle's up. It's fine. I'll let Rizzo go into the corner here. Good speed again, too. Good follow next next touch here. Just kind of waiting in mid to see what's going to happen. So I get the beat on that guy. 
Make the 50 50 awkward by making an extra touch. He does miss too. Go for the fake. There we go. So, right there, he's seeing the shot that I'm going to make on target. So, what I do is I actually fake it down further. So, what I do is I go up. I see him jump. I go f I go back on my uh, my uh, my car to get in the way. And that's why I'm able to dunk it in off of that pop. It's a good touch. Woozy might have this. He does. I'm just waiting in mid. It's a good dunk. Go for a double here. He didn't quite make it, which means Rizzo has to rush. Which he does really well. I shouldn't have uh, jumped so early if I want to go for that double. So he sees, I see the 50-50. I'm going to wait here. I'm going to pop into the corner. Space here. Pop over the one dot. We'll get it. Or square, whatever. It's a decent pop. I don't want to go for that pass. Rizzo sees that it's a little bit dangerous, so he doesn't go for it. Smart. Here's a free clear here. Don't need to go for the boost quite yet. That's a bad pop. I didn't go that high with it. Can it a lot higher. Oh, try to go for that really, really far snap, and I didn't get the uh, the touch. But that beat could be bad. I did bump him though. That's a good shot. So I probably could have scored that if I just waited a few seconds. I just didn't really want to give it any more time because a good defender would just push out and attack that really quickly. Uh, but you know, is what it is. Is what it is. He's gonna have a good touch here. Get behind. Looks like he's gonna get beat. Off the, the wall for Rizzo. It's a good pop. Left tickle can't really make it. And Woozy with the finish. Nice. There we go. So Woozy wasn't doing too much earlier, but he uh, had a good uh, positioning on the left side of the field. Watched for the miss. And then got an open shot. So good positioning, good shot. We're up one goal. Still three minutes left, though. Good try on the double. I tried to be ready for it, so I moved to the left. Or moved back into the right. Pop that over Doodle's head. I got over the one, but maybe a bit dangerous. Good fakes. No reason to let the do the ball do anything with the ball yet. Get over the one. Rizzo could probably shoot this. It's open. Nice try. Let's go for the rush. And keep my momentum. <laughs> that double touch was uh, not expected by Rizzo. Woozy uh, made a weird double. That was a weird touch too. Should be open for Woozy if he can make it. Close. Good try. So I saw that touch early. Try to follow it. Left goes up. I thought that boost would spawn, but it didn't quite. I'll make sure I get a touch to follow it with the boost, but end up throwing it right at the opponent. See, a nice strong touch to the left. I could have probably, or to the right, I probably could have left that. I was thinking about it when I was going. I was like, maybe I should just avoid it altogether. It's a good touch to avoid the backboard double. I'll leave that boost. I think we have pressure in mid. I do see that guy on our, on our left though. So I want to make sure I grab it so he doesn't throw it away. Just gonna follow it here. There's no reason to touch it again. Since there's no one there, I go early. Oh, almost got it on that flip too, the delayed flip. He's gonna get my boost because I have no boost to uh, keep the momentum, but it's no big deal. He just wasted all that boost to go for that early challenge. He's gonna go for a double here. So I'm just gonna wait, pop it around him. It's not too threatening, especially if I grab a few pads in mid. This could be a little dangerous. Our third is pretty far away, so I can't quite make it. Is that, is that our third? Okay, it is. Yeah, I couldn't tell. Oh, it's the kind of... <laughs> I'm in such an awkward spot right now. I'm just going to wait. I wasted most of my boost, too, doing that. There we go. It's going to get saved to the corner. So once again, I'm low boost. I'm going to try and grab a few more pads. I kind of wasted a lot of my boost by, by spurting it there. Take like a shot attempt. Get it finished by Woozy. There we go. So I was in a really, really awkward spot. Obviously in like communication or like comms, I would have just said I got no boost and things would have went differently. I wouldn't be able to go grab boost, but they're expecting me to do something when you don't, when you don't hear anything or see anything. Uh, you're going to be in a situation where, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna rush this so I can bump them off. Nice. Um, like I, this is what I was talking about in my, my video where I said Rocket Lee needs to change. I feel like uh, when you're solo queue, 
What the heck? Uh, when you're solo queue, I feel like you should be able to see. Well, always you should be able to see your your teammate's boost. Like it should be like next to their name tag or something. Like the UI could definitely improve. I think it's. I still think it's weird that the orange name tags don't have a white highlight and the uh, the blue ones do. Should be a free clear. It's a good touch. This is just rolling towards the net. He's gonna boom it. I'm gonna get in the way here. Pop it towards net. Just cause some pressure. Need to get some boost while I'm uh, sitting around here. Wait for their clear downfield. Oh, it's still up. It's still up. It's pop over me too. Oh no. We're not in the clear yet. There it is. Hope you guys enjoyed that quick set of games with Rizzo. Just letting you know there's actually going to be a few videos with Rizzo and Sizz coming up in the next couple days. So stay tuned for those. Uh, tomorrow's video is going to be a banger as well. So hope you guys enjoy. And uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one.